What to pray to the Lord when anxious? Cast your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. And which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life? Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. If you are worrying, quit. If you haven't started worrying, don't. Bible verses about replacing worry with God's peace. Worry does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It empties today of its strength. And let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, to which indeed you are called in one body, and be thankful. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Bible verses for those feeling anxious. Anxiety can be crippling, but we can replace it with thankful prayers and thoughts and look to Christ for peace. A hundred load of worry will not pay an ounce of debt. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Worry goes away when we focus on Him. When we keep our focus where it needs to be, on Jesus, worry has a tendency to melt away. No one can pray and worry at the same time. So we can confidently say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear what can man do to me. But now thus says the Lord, Who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Don't worry, trust in God. Have faith in God's plan for your life and trust that he has plans to give you a hope and a future. Worry is the antithesis of trust. You simply cannot do both. They are mutually exclusive. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. When I'm af afraid, I put my trust in you. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your path. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. What then shall we say to these things? If God is not for us, who can be against us? God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, 
and the mountains quake with their surging. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God you have an everlasting rock. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. I say it again. In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. Don't worry or fear, find your strength in Him. It can be so easy to give in to worry, fear and despair, but with Him He can find strength and look forward to wonderful things. He gives us hope. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. I sought the Lord, and He answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The Lord is near to all who call on Him, to all who call on Him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear Him. He hears their cry and saves them. Cast all your anxiety on Him, because He cares for you. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. God gives us a spirit of strength and power. Through faith in Christ we are given a spirit of power, love and discipline and for that reason we have nothing to fear. We can hold on to his promises and be confident that he will see us through even the darkest of days. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity but a spirit of power, of love and of self-discipline. When I called you answered me, you made me bold and stout-hearted. I have set the Lord always before me, 
because he is at my right hand I will not be shaken my soul finds rest in God alone my salvation comes from him he alone is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress I will never be shaken praise the Lord happy are those who fear the Lord they are not afraid of evil tidings the hearts are firm secure in the Lord the hearts are steady they will not be afraid you who live in the shelter of the Most High who abide in the shadow of the Almighty will say to the Lord my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust praise the Lord happy are those who fear the Lord they are not afraid of evil tidings their hearts are firm secure in the Lord their hearts are steady and they will not be afraid hard times may come but he's there with us through them all do we end promised an easy life we're told that Christ will be there with us when we believe in him that he won't give us more than we can handle with his help and even our hard times can be used to glorify God my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty I've learned that the secret of being content in any and every situation I can do everything through him who gives me strength but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless and the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little will himself restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast but we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are yet without sin let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need be strong and bold have no fear or dread of them because it is the Lord your God who goes before you he will be with you he will not fail you or forsake you do not fear or be dismayed now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way strength in Christ our Lord and Savior as the verses above illustrate we are told to call on Jesus Christ and that he will hear us and give us strength hope and a grace sufficient to carry us through he will be our ever-present help where, when we are in need and he can give us a peace that passes all understanding for me that's extremely encouraging Bible verses about prayers for strength the daily grind of life can easily wipe us out physically and emotionally that is the one of the many reasons why we must spend some time talking to God as often as possible during prayer we unburden our hearts and are transformed by God's grace God gives us strength prayer is a powerful weapon I pray that I, I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and good God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope encourage your heart and strengthen you in every good deed and word again may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope encourage you encourage your heart and strengthen you in every good deed and word do not fear for I have redeemed you I have called you by name you are mine when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you when you walk through fire you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you for I am the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel your Savior but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one Bible verses of encouragement for when times are hard 
Bible verses of encouragement that give strength. God has encouraged us that if we believe in Him, He will give us strength, no matter what we are dealing with. Here are a few verses that speak to the strength and encouragement we can find in Him. God does not give us everything we want, but He does fulfill His promises, leading us along the best and straightest paths to Himself. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by His love. He will exalt you over with loud singing. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Peace I will leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Cast your burden on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who seek the Lord lacks no good thing. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God you have an ever everlasting rock. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble, and surround me with songs of deliverance. Therefore encourage one another, and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Bible verses of encouragement that brings comfort. God doesn't always take away the pain or suffering that we're dealing with, but He does give us comfort in the midst of those troubles. Cast your burden on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult. O earth break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted His people, and will have compassion on His afflicted. Sing for joy. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Bible verses of encouragement and peace. Be encouraged because we can look to Him to find the peace that we are so lacking in life. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you, you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, 
to which indeed you are called in one body, and be thankful. God's promises can encourage us and give hope. God has made a multitude of promises to those who follow Him, and we can be encouraged by these promises. Here are a few of my favorites. God has promised us eternal life if we believe in Him. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. God is faithful to His children. Know therefore that the Lord is your. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God. Who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations? God has promised to hear our prayers. Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. God has promised to guide us. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. And that's the end.